Exercise 6. On June 30, 2011, Sharper Corporation's common stock is priced at $27 per share before any stock dividend or split. In the stockholders' equity section of its balance sheet appears as follows. Common stock, $7 par, 80,000 shares authorized, 32,000 shares issued and outstanding, $224,000. Paid in capital in excess of par value on common stock, $100,000, and retained earnings, $324,000. Total stockholders' equity is $648,000. Requirement 1. Assume that the company declares and immediately distributes a 100% stock dividend. This event is recorded by capitalizing retained earnings equal to the stock's par value. Letter A asks what the retained earnings balance would be after the dividend. A 100% stock dividend is increasing the number of shares by 100%. 32,000 shares had previously been issued and outstanding, so the stock dividend is an additional 32,000 shares. The par value of 32,000 shares, $224,000, will be transferred from retained earnings to common stock. Retained earnings will start at 324000 We subtract 224000 dropping the balance in retained earnings to $100,000 after the dividend. Letter B. What is the amount of total stockholders' equity? Total stockholders' equity is unchanged, $648,000. The net effect of a stock dividend is to transfer dollars from retained earnings to the paid-in capital section of stockholders' equity. So if we're decreasing one stockholder's equity account and increasing another, total stockholder's equity will always stay the same as a result of a stock dividend. How many shares are outstanding after the dividend? We had 32,000 shares previously outstanding, plus 100% of 32,000, 64,000 shares are outstanding after the dividend. Requirement 2 asks us to assume that the company implements a 3-for-2 stock split instead of the stock dividend. What would the retained earnings balance be after the split? A stock split is splitting the par value. It increases the number of shares and decreases the par value. There is no change with a stock split. Total retained earnings remains at $324,000. Since neither a stock dividend nor a stock split changes the net assets of the corporation, neither a stock dividend nor a stock split will change the amount of total stockholders' equity. How many shares are outstanding after the split? For every two shares previously outstanding, there will now be three. So if we take 32,000 shares, divide it by two, that's 16,000, and then multiply by three, We'll have 48,000 shares outstanding after the stock split. Another effect of a stock split is to split the par value. Since the balance in the common stock account has not changed, it remains at $224,000. But we now have 48,000 shares issued and outstanding. The par value needs to decrease. To calculate the new par value, take the $224,000 balance in the common stock account Divided by the 48,000 shares that are outstanding after the stock split, the par value of the common stock after the split is $4.67 per share.